Ah. <laughs> All right, our everyday heroes are usually doing something special to help other humans, right? Yes, indeed. But tonight, a team of special people came together to help a very sick bonobo. Doctors and vets teamed up at the Milwaukee County Zoo for a life-saving surgery. It's hard not to notice four-and-a-half-year-old Kasai because he's just so cute. But keepers at the Milwaukee County Zoo recently picked up on something else. Our bonobo keepers um, noticed that Kasai was spending a lot more time on his mom. He was pulling at the side of his mouth and tapping the side of his face, and he even had a little bit of a head tilt. Those are abscesses in his cerebellum. Senior staff veterinarian Pamela Govet and Patricia Kahn, curator of primates and small mammals, are two members of the team that eventually diagnosed Kasai with lesions on his brain and a potentially deadly abscess. I'm told I have a good head for seeing this, so it's like way back here. <laughs> Um, and underneath. Dr. Wade um, Mueller is a professor of neurosurgery at the Medical College of Wisconsin and a surgeon at Freighter. Bonobos are not his usual patients, but this case is special. They're um, very precious little creatures because they're quite endangered, and so the decision was made to try and do something about it. This is the actual room where we did the operation, yes. Kasai's surgery took place at the Milwaukee County Zoo's Animal Health Center on March 7th. A team of 30 specialists from the zoo, freighter, UW-Madison and more, many donating their time to remove the lesions. It was a, you know, a once in a lifetime experience that I'll never forget. After five and a half hours, the team finished Kasai's surgery. And after five days in a medically induced coma. Oh, he's doing wonderfully. He is just doing so wonderfully. Khan helped provide Kasai with around the clock care. He's a very precocious young little male. So, you know, he'd start giving a little attitude or a little, you know, be very playful again. So that was a good sign that things he was recovering. Recovering thanks to some very helpful humans. This is the first case that I'm aware of in which we have diagnosed it early. And thanks to the outpouring of love and support from the medical community, we came in together and saved Kasai's life. Now, Kasai is still recovering, and he will need more care and antibiotics before he is back with his family. And the vet staff right now is still not sure what caused those abscesses to begin with. If you'd like to nominate someone for Natalie's Everyday Heroes, just send me a message. First off, that face. Oh my gosh, just he the is face. so cute. Uh, and it's kind of like an unfortunate, fortunate thing. You know, fortunate he's alive. Unfortunately, yeah. he does have a long road, right? Well, and fortunate that they were able to detect these yeah. before it got much worse. But yeah, they were saying that this is something that will take months, not weeks to heal up. But eventually he will be back with his family and the 19 bonobos they have at oh, the zoo. Oh man, that face. Can't get over it. So cute. Nicely done, Natalie.